Hello, my name is Keith Peterson. To make it easy for me, and because I'm too lazy to memorize all this, and to make it easy for you so that I don't stumble along trying to reiterate what I should have memorized, I decided I'd actually just read the following to you. I'm a Christian brought up in a Christian household. I've lived my entire life on the East Coast of the United States. I'm a writer and a businessman in a local family-owned business. My following statements are in the way of encouraging all of us, and I hope what I say greatly resonates with you. The Bible speaks wonderfully as to the unity of the Holy Spirit. Ephesians 4 says, using diligence to keep the unity of the Spirit in the uniting bond of peace. For many years, I, myself, and certainly many other Christians, have been considerably blessed by another Bible verse, written by the Apostle Paul in his second epistle to Timothy. And that verse says, The firm foundation of God stands. What an important scripture this is, and it is greatly encouraging to understand that God has secured a rock-solid foundation for all times. We are all absolutely and always provided with necessary biblical guidelines as to being joyful in this world. I've written a book. I don't say that assumingly. It could have been written by anybody, but I happen to write this particular book. It is about the power that God gives to men through the Holy Spirit, as shown in Scripture, to enable us all to walk morally and buoyantly in our lives. We can see this type of power in the Apostle Peter. The Bible tells us he walked upon the water to go to the Lord. The Apostle Paul wrote that Christianity is a system of power and love and wise discretion. That's in 2 Timothy 1, verse 7. We have all the power through the blessed Holy Spirit that we need to live with joy in this world. God is gifting men with the Holy Spirit. We can each, reverently speaking, take advantage of the Holy Spirit's guidance and what the Bible speaks of as the unction to which the Apostle John refers to in his first epistle. John 3, verse 34 says, God gives not the Spirit by measure, and it is through His power, the Holy Spirit's power, as the Spirit of life, which is seen in Romans chapter 8, verse 10, that God is giving man eternal life. This book I've written is all about these and other related truths. It is titled, The Unspeakable Free Gift. And I'd like you to read it. It's straightforward. It's easy to read. And I'd also very much like to know as to your thoughts when you finish it. It's available on Amazon as a Kindle download. It is less than the, the cost of two cups of coffee from Starbucks. And as a paperback, it's only a bit more than that. I didn't write it to make money. I wrote it only in the way of encouragement and refreshment. Please click on the link shown in this uh, post, and it will direct you to an Amazon link by which you can order this book. I hope you do it. I think we both know that if you don't do it now, you likely will not. I'm sure you'll appreciate what this book offers. If you're hesitant, and if you're like me, you always want a bit of extra validation before you take a step in ordering anything. Here are a few excerpts from a few reviews which should be of help and interest. Here's one from a person that says, I found this book to be both challenging and insightful, completely backed in an astounding and powerful way by Scripture. It helps the believer to have a practical way to live make decisions, and overcome the obstacles that daily confront us, not only individually, but collectively. I would recommend reading this book to get a fresh perspective and experience of divine power. Here's another one. These are excerpts. They're not the full reviews. The book's emphasis is on the reality of the Holy Spirit. These are valuable truths that should be precious to any lover of Christ desiring to have a right response to him. 
Here's a third review. This book gets down to important details of our soul's experiences and our links with divine persons. It also seeks to get to the root of divisions and issues amongst many today. And then another review says, this is a very well-written book backed with scripture throughout. I feel this would be a fantastic book for a small group to base a Bible study around. Well, thank you for watching this video. I trust you'll enjoy reading The Unspeakable Gift. I greatly enjoyed writing it. Please click on the link below and it will take you to a page where you can order this book. Thank you.